More than a million and a half Americans are diagnosed as having some form of autism, a complex and often baffling developmental disability that affects the way a person communicates and interacts socially. While there are a variety of therapies available to date, there is no cure. But today, the story of one little girl and her journey with the help of Mozart. She looked beautiful. She looked perfect. I was elated. And to her parents, Sharon and Dave, Ashley was perfect, the second daughter they'd always wanted. I wanted another child so Casey could have a playmate. They were 14 months apart, and I thought Casey would be a great role model for Ashley. Okay, so Ashley, get in the head. Okay, go real slow. But Ashley had a different idea. At 16 months, she preferred to be left alone. She would tune us out when you called her name. She would just kind of be in her own world. I couldn't imagine that something would be wrong with my child. But there was something wrong with Ashley. After a hearing and speech evaluation, it was determined that while her hearing was fine, her speaking ability at 19 months was the equivalent of a six-month-old. My heart just sunk. Dr. Chuck Conlin, a neurodevelopmental pediatrician at Children's Hospital in Bethesda, Maryland, examined Ashley. We really look at the hallmark of her social interaction abilities and her communicative abilities. It was a diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder. Autism? Ashley's not autistic. While devastated, Sharon was also determined to find help for her little girl. Happy birthday to Around her second birthday, she started speech and occupational therapy. But despite a 20-hour-a-week program for almost a year, Ashley made little progress. So Sharon decided to try a special listening program who theorized that autistic children have underdeveloped inner ears that can be retrained through intensive sound therapy. This is really looking to doing that to help start language emerge. It's in the womb that hearing develops. The fetus picks up only high frequency levels of the mother's voice and other sounds. This therapy is designed to replicate those sounds heard in utero in order to reawaken the ear's natural ability to listen and ultimately stimulate the brain's desire to communicate. For some kids, really opening another door to them and an entirely new world. Stop. For Ashley, the result was nothing short of miraculous. The second day, I really remember, we got into the car and we were driving home and all of a sudden she said, I want cookie. And she'd never said anything spontaneous like that before. And Dave and I looked at each other like, what did she just say? After more than a year of listening therapy combined with interactive games, Ashley is now part of the crowd. Give me a high five. You're doing super. She oh, learned to talk. She learned to pretend play. Me, yeah, you me. She learned to hug. She learned to love us. Oh, big hug. <laughs> this was just that switch. But autism experts caution against false hope. They stress it is not a cure. It's not science, and it's not meant for every autistic child. I don't think that I could make this a treatment recommendation from the standpoint of definitively do this until there was more evidence to suggest there's good clinical science to say this works. But for Sharon and her husband Dave, this is all the proof they need. I love you, Daddy. Can I have a hug? Sharon Rubin is Ashley's mother. Um, she's been released from all of her therapies. She no longer has speech and occupational therapy. She's been released from the special educator from the county. She's in Montessori, and she's just fallen into place like any other four-year-old. This must be the answer to your prayers. I mean, you must be so grateful and relieved as Ashley's mom. I mean, she loves us now. She calls me mommy. She calls Dave daddy. I mean, it just opened up a whole new world for her. And for us, we're a family now. Now, she had other therapy, though, we should point out. She was also on a special diet for some time. Why are you convinced, Sharon, it was it that really is responsible for her vast improvement? There's not a doubt in my mind. It really gave her that boost that she needed. We had stopped her speech and occupational therapy during those loops of and every day we were seeing brand new things emerge from her. She was eating new foods. She was spontaneously talking. I mean, she was hugging us and loving us and she was just being reborn almost. I mean, it was an amazing process. A book about your journey. What's your one piece of advice to parents? Just Heed the warning signs. Um, sometimes parents just brush off some de delays that they see in their children 
and go to the doctor, go to the pediatrician, and, and just check it out. Different and don't kinds be of in therapy. denial. And there's, there's hope out there. We'll be back after this.